hey guys welcome back today in this video i will show you how to fix wi-fi not working with 100417cf access violation error on your windows pc and laptop so for this guys i will show you six method for fix this problem first one you go to start and type here troubleshoot settings Type here troubleshoot setting and select this. Click on guys other troubleshooters and find here network adapter. So as you can see here network adapter. Click on run and complete the process. After guys you restart your computer and try. Hopefully it will fix your problem. And the second method you go to start and type here services and select this services app find here guys wlan service auto config service type on the keyboard wlan auto config service double click on the service select the automatic click on start click on apply and click on ok and click on restart the service now guys once again restart your computer and try hopefully it will fix your problem and the method number three right click on start and go to device manager find here guys network adapter open the network adapter right click on driver select the update driver and select the browse my computer for drivers then select the let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer so finally you select the driver and click on next so same here guys update the all drivers in the network adapter after you close this and restart your computer and try hopefully guys it will fix your problem and the method number 4 go to start type here command prompt right click on command prompt and select the run as administrator type here guys first command ip config space forward slash release and hit enter on your keyboard now type the second command ipconfig space forward slash plus dns and hit enter on your keyboard. Type the third command ipconfig space forward slash renew and press the enter. Type the next command net sh space int space ip space reset and press the enter and now guys type the last command net sh space winsock space reset and press the enter so you can see here you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset close the command prompt and restart your computer hopefully guys at this time it will fix your problem and the method number five once again go to start and type here command prompt right click here and select the run as administrator now type here guys chk and dsk chk dsk and hit enter on your keyboard you need to wait here guys You wait here guys for complete this process. After you close the command prompt and once again restart your computer. Hopefully guys this time it will fix your problem. And the last method number 6. Go to start and open the windows settings. In the settings go to network and internet. Scroll down here. 
Select the advanced network settings. Select here network reset and finally you can see here network reset. Click on reset now and select yes. After guys restart your computer and try. Hopefully guys this time it will fix your problem. So thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.